going to make for you a really delicious baklava um, called burma or baklava rolls. Um, this is one of my favorite types of baklava and I am going to be making this for Eid so I thought um, why not shoot the video as well for you guys. So I've got here all the ingredients that we need which is um, a package of phyllo pastry. So this is 470 grams as you can see. Um, I've got 100 grams or 100 milliliters of melted ghee which is clarified butter or um, you can use butter instead and um, just melt it and um, I've got here 300 grams of mixed nuts um, 200 grams of walnuts and 100 grams of pistachios so I've ground the nuts fairly coarse so you can see this is the kind of texture we're looking for so they shouldn't be too fine but also be careful not to have too many large chunks I've got a couple here which I'll Kind of remove or crush um, because we're making rolls which once you kind of start making the rolls it may break up the filo pastry which as you know or may not know is quite difficult to handle sometimes and I've got here some simple syrup which is um, 300 grams of sugar granulated sugar and 250 milliliters of water which I've just simmered for a few minutes and then um, I've brought it to a kind of gentle boil and added two teaspoons of lemon juice towards the end. And obviously we're going to be making baklava rolls, which means they need to be rolled up with something. Um, traditionally in Turkey they use um, a, like a rolling pin called oknoklava. Um, obviously I don't have an oklava. Um, I am planning on getting one soon because I love baklava so much, but instead I've got two skewers which we normally use for kebabs and things so I'm gonna just kind of put them side by side well end to end like this and hopefully um, that will be enough to roll this long piece of filo pastry so just make sure whatever you're rolling it with not too thick or thin this may be slightly thin so if you have something thicker like chopsticks or something that may work as well um, all it needs to do is roll up the filo pastry and just be longer than the length of or the width of the filo pastry. So now let's get started. So it's important to open the filo pastry just as you're about to use them because they will dry out very quickly. Just keep the bits that you're not using um, covered up so they retain their moisture. These are our sheets. They feel very, very fragile. So I'm going to just remove some and put them back in the packet. So I'll just take five out for now. To handle this very gently. I'm gonna do one sheet at a time. So I'm just gonna fold the ones we don't need straight away to here. First thing we want to do is grease our pan. So just take your ghee and just brush the base of the pan. I've got one sheet here, I'm just gonna butter it or add the ghee to it. So make sure you do all the edges too. I'm gonna just fold over just a little bit less than a quarter on this side which will make it easier to roll we're going to add some nuts so any big pieces just put them back in or crush them later so 
So we just fold it over a little less than a quarter after we brushed it with ghee, then we went over with ghee again. Um, and then we just sprinkle some nuts on top, leaving a little bit of an edge on the outer side, just there. So now we're going to roll it and just place the flat edges or both the edges together on one side and then roll them over. Be very gentle at this point, and then we're going to squish it together so you make a, like a crumpled log. There you go, so like that, and then just take the sticks out. So we just place that in the tin this way. On to the next one. So we're going to do the same, just brush it with ghee. Fold over the edge. Brush it again. I'm just going to use my hand and just sprinkle some nuts. And then we go back in with our sticks. Just fold over the edge. It's kind of like rolling a cinnamon roll. And then we just do a nice little tight log. There you go. And then Crumpled it up. Remove the sticks. Then place them in the pan. So I'm about halfway through making stray baklava and even though you're supposed to brush or pour ghee or butter towards the end, I've got the door open so I don't want the pastry to dry out. So what I do is just lightly go over with the ghee to prevent it from drying because we've still got several to go. Here's a close up of our baklava station. So we've got the filo pastry here, some that we're going to use covered. Um, these are the ones that I've just lightly brushed with the ghee because I don't want them to dry out. And they look amazing already. We've got the nuts here, the ghee, and we've got the sticks um, that we're going to roll the sheet with. So here's the sheet. You can see this is the kind of amount of nuts that I use. When you're towards the end of making your baklava rolls, um, preheat your oven if you need to. Some fan ovens don't need to be preheated, so fan oven 160 degrees Celsius. So you can convert that to whatever you're using. So brush the tops with ghee. Because we've been brushing as we went along, just brush the ones you didn't brush previously. So these last four, I think, four or five. And then use up the rest of the ghee for the rest of the wall. So just go over twice. So I'm holding the tray up um, lengthways so you can see 
how lovely they look. And what I'm going to do is just lightly trim both edges so you don't have kind of um, excess filo on the ends and all the shapes are even. So I'm just going to cut about a centimetre from each side here and here. I'm just going to cut it once along the centre and then once again so we have four rows. So here they are, all sliced up. You can see there's four rows. And what I was mentioning earlier about just cutting off the excess filo on the ends. But you don't have to do this. You can just cut them into four rows. So now they're ready to go into our preheated oven, 160 degrees fan or equivalent. Um, and we're going to bake them for about an hour, but we'll check after about 40 minutes to see if they're burning or taking on too much colour and at which point we'll just lower the heat slightly. It's been about 40 minutes, they still need a little bit more time so I'm going to lower the heat to 150 fan and cook them for another 15 minutes or so. So I've just taken the baklava out of the oven, they're ready, you can see they're really nice golden brown. Um, so they need to be quite crisped up and kind of, yeah, deep golden. Um, I don't know if the colour's coming through, but it's um, a little bit darker than what you can see on screen. And I cook them for 40 minutes, 160 fan, and then reduce the heat to 150 and cook them for another 10 minutes. So they'll take roughly an hour, but do keep an eye on the colour and, um, you know, if you smell anything burning or, you know, um, kind of over roasting them, just turn the heat down. But yeah, about 50 minutes to an hour should be more than enough time. And now we just need to cool them for around 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And then we'll add the syrup, which we've got cooling here. You can see the syrup has been cooled and it's light, but still has a syrupy consistency. I would say like maple syrup rather than honey. So we're just going to completely cover all of the pastries with the syrup. just poured all the syrup and you can see it's glistening very nicely and make sure to use up all the syrup it will soak up trust me so um, you can wait for a few hours but for best results best to wait overnight for all the baklava to soak up the syrup um, we're going to have these for eat tomorrow so we will be waiting for a day and, and then we'll garnish on top with some chopped pistachios or ground pistachios you are the delicious baklava rolls I've been soaking the syrup overnight and I've just decorated them with some crushed pistachios just across the surface as you can see. They smell so nutty and delicious, can't wait to tuck in later. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share and I'll see you next time.